I get for many of you the appeal of AEW. At the end of the day, what is it? It's a millennial themed, millennial based wrestling company. Well, maybe millennial and Gen Z. And that's what it is. And it's run by a millennial and Tony Khan. So you feel it's younger, it's hipper, it's newer, it's fresher. It, it resonates with you. It appeals to that those generations with shorter attention spans and greater sensitivity to criticism and that kind of cult-like mentality or mindset. Get it. I'm sorry. How could anybody defend Tony Khan after what he tweeted yesterday? I mean, that is straight up clown cult shit if you defend that. Here's what Tony Khan tweeted yesterday. Make sure I provide the proper context. And I quote, An independent study has confirmed that much of the staunch anti-AEW online community aren't real individuals. It's a staff running thousands of accounts and an army of bots to signal boost them. Look closely. These aren't real people. Who'd pay for such a wildly expensive thing? Unquote. Wow. Really? Really? And then he responds in part by saying, and I quote, Research this one yourselves. You internet detectives thrive in these situations. Speaking of wild things, you won't want to miss John Moxley versus Wheeler Yuta on AEW Rampage at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central on TNT Drama tonight. Yeah, stars in the sky, bitches! <laughs> Unquote. Maybe the last part about the stars in the skies, bitches, but you get what I'm getting at. Come on, dude. Now, before I even get into the validity or illegitimacy of this, let me just ask this. Do you feel like this is behavior coming, becoming of a billionaire? I realize almost half of the country voted for a clown just like this, you know, that served a four year term. So maybe this is the younger version, like you like this? You think this is something that a billionaire should be doing? Like, wouldn't you think, I, I just, even if you're like a multimillionaire, let alone a billionaire, like Tony Khan's net worth, wouldn't you think that you would have so many more things to occupy and interest your time? Don't you think you would have so many other better things to do than be worried about bots online? Now, I'm not saying that Companies shouldn't understand the internet and the social media environment they're in. That's 21st century business. That's the way it is. You have to understand the landscape of the world. You have to understand the internet. There is nothing wrong with trying to research and figuring out, you know, what your interactions look like and what activity looks like and what's driving engagement and what's not. Like that's basic good business in today's world. But doing stuff like this, this is the epitome, the peak of butthurt fanboy. None of you should defend this. Even if you absolutely love every single thing that AEW does, this should not be one of them. You should not be looking at your nepotistic, spoiled billionaire brat man fanboy Tony Khan, and condoning this type of behavior. It is unbecoming of him. It is unbecoming of the roster and talent. It is unbecoming of the fans. And believe it or not, it is even unbecoming of the company as a whole. Just everybody involved. But let's look at what he actually said here. An independent study is confirmed. Whose independent study? An independent study that you commission for your analytics group? That's not exactly an independent study if that's what we're talking about here. Furthermore, if we want to talk about the accuracy of said study, is this the same group of analytics people that are under your purview that determined that Blake Bortles should be the third overall pick in the 2014 NFL draft? 
This is the same analytics group that is a part of the Jacksonville Jaguars roster construction, a team that just went 3-14. and 14. The same analytics group that's part of what you do with your English Premier League club or whatever the hell it is that keeps going back and forth between relegated or not. I'm not, forgive me, I'm not a, a football fan. But I know that it seems like everything sports or entertainment related that the cons touch their hands on goes to shit. Oh my god. Staunch anti-AW community aren't real individuals, really? That's how overly sensitive you are to criticism? That's how insecure you are? You are a fucking billionaire! This is every bit as insecure and pathetic as when Vince and the WWE will dub in crowd noise because they didn't like for over a decade how the fans used to react to Cena. They'd censorship. Well, the great thing about WWE is everybody can have a voice. And if it's not a voice that they like, then they're going to fucking change it anyways. Like, this is the level of pathetic and insecure that is. This is terrible. And if we're going to say an independent study has confirmed, what methodology did you use? Who did independent verification of your data in your sampling? How were you able to ascertain this data? These basic fundamental questions you would ask when you're talking about some type of scientific or statistical analysis. I highly doubt Tony Khan's going to release that. Research this one yourself. I Meaning he's just throwing out there because he's full of shit. Oh, he very well probably did commission his own group to do some study on this crap. I wouldn't be surprised. And if it's anything like the analytics that have been produced over the years for the Jacksonville Jaguars, I wouldn't trust that shit one damn bit. But here's the thing. You can also flip this on its head a little bit. If you say that most of the negative response to AEW is coming from a group of bots, hello, my name is Jeff and I am clearly a bot. And you could say that bot traffic is help driving how much engagement there is involving AEW, the talents, the show, the hashtags, all of that helps contribute to how much the company is trending on a weekly basis. What would stand to say that you're not doing the thing yourself from a positive standpoint with pro AEW bots? that are also artificially driving up. You see what I mean? We start really diving into this. It almost feels like some deflectionary tactics against what you actually are doing. And I'm not saying you are, because I sure as hell hope you're not, because there are much, 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 much better things to do with your time, your money, your company's resources, than to be worrying about shit like this. If you can't stand the heat, Get the fuck out of the kitchen. It frustrates me to no end in this world how people can't handle criticism. You should be your own worst critic. And I realize when you come from a situation where you're born into wealth, you don't have to deal with shit. You don't have to deal with obstacles. It's just life is different. The perspective is different. The reality is vastly different. That's just the way it is. But God damn, like if anything, that should buy you a bit of confidence in yourself and a bit of I don't give a fuck. The hell would you care if some random people on Twitter or on social media say something about your brand, your product, your company, some of your wrestlers that you don't particularly like or care for? Sure, do people go too far? Absolutely. But that also comes with the territory. You can't take all of the good and ignore all of the bad. It comes with the territory. It is a package deal, fair or not. And living with your goddamn head in the sand, ignoring any and all criticism is no way to live at all. You could get absorbed by it too much. You could get consumed by it and it can ruin you. I agree. Balance is key. But nothing that anybody says about you should ever bother you too much even if it is biting sharp criticism. 
because you should be your own worst critic. And I offer that up to anybody. At this point, like in my life, I don't give a fuck. Somebody has biting sharp criticism for me. It's either they're right or they're wrong. And I really don't give a fuck either way anymore. Because at the end of the day, nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, from the most pathetic of lazy internet trolls to anybody, any other legitimate critic, nobody is going to be harsher on myself or criticize myself more than myself. And that's the way it should be. And it's okay to not be perfect in everybody's eyes, Tony Khan. It is okay for you and your company, your product, to have flaws. It gives you something to strive for. Instead of lashing out at criticism, you should be figuring out how to make that criticism obsolete or not applicable anymore. Or determine what criticism you don't give a fuck about, you're going to turn your other cheek to, turn a blind eye to, and don't care about. To sit there as a multi-billionaire on a Friday afternoon and be tweeting about some goddamn fucking Russia bot-like conspiracy involving professional wrestling is pathetic. And the people that defend you on stupid crap like this are pathetic. Period. And if every critic of AEW or the majority of them are not real people, wouldn't you say the same thing about all the positive tweets you see about AEW too? Hmm? Hmm? I mean, come on. Guys, we've got to be better than this. Tony Khan's got to be better than this. Like, AEW's got its own thing going. It's got two shows on prime time. You know, could it be better? Sure. But is it still around two and a half years later? Yes, that's a freaky victory. Why not just focus on your own shit and what you're doing? It's like recently I saw somebody tweet something about how Christian was doing this and it's pathetic. I just doing this. And it's like, hold up. Who gives a shit? Christian is doing his own thing and doing well in his spot with his company. Edge is doing well in his spot in his company. Just had a pretty featured WrestleMania match and he's trying to help the next generation. Christian's trying to help the next generation. Like, why do we need this incessant comparison? It's stupid. It's counterproductive. And tweeting crap like this is counterproductive. Imagine at some point in time you had somebody that wanted to invest in your company or do some type of big time business deal with you. Why the hell would they want to if they see a CEO that's acting like this? Why would they? And I'd question that company if they did want to do business with you. Because this is pretty sad. I don't know if Tony Khan needs PR help. I don't know if Tony Khan needs somebody to take over his Twitter account for him and like handle the PR for him. I don't know if Tony Khan just needs to grow a bit of a backbone here and some thicker skin. And I'm kind of pointing to that last one. Not everybody's going to agree with every damn thing you do or say. And that's fine, just like I don't agree with what the hell Tony Khan was saying here. But the difference is you're a damn billionaire with a successful wrestling company. Focus on that! Your company can do so much more. Your company could be so much better. Why not invest every single bit of energy, resources, into accomplishing that. Wasting time, effort, energy, and resources on an independent study to tell you that anti-AEW tweets come from bot accounts. Who fucking cares? Grow some thick skin, damn it. You're a billionaire. Stop being so damn insecure. Seriously. Like a damn five-year-old.